So being a dude is pretty awesome. If you agree, why don't you drop me one of these and be like, yo, Alpha, you're right. Being a dude is awesome for a lot of reasons. But what's not awesome are some of the guy problems that we as macho studly stallions of studliness face on a regular basis. Today, I'm going over some of the biggest, most awkward problems that we as studly stallions of stylish studliness face on a regular basis and how to fix them. The first awkward problem that most of us dudes face is excessive sweating or wetness under our arms. There's nothing worse than when you're dressed like a stallion, right? You're looking excellent, but then all of a sudden you start to sweat, you get a little bit nervous, and you know that your pits are wet. There are two solutions I'm going to talk about. Number one, antiperspirant deodorant. Apply it at night before you go to bed. All right, one of the big mistakes that we make is that we apply it after a hot shower. Our body temperature is up, we're sweating. When we apply it, it doesn't allow it to actually go in and stop, or I should say block, the sweat glands, because that's actually what happens. The aluminum in antiperspirant deodorants goes in and actually blocks the sweat glands. Now, is this healthy? Probably not, but is it a solution? Yes. The second solution is to wear something like a Thompson tee. So this is a Thompson tee. I've talked about it before. It's an undershirt with a protective barrier sewn into the armpit area of the undershirt. And the whole premise and idea of this is that you wear it underneath of a shirt and it actually is going to stop the wetness from coming through not only the undershirt, but the outer shirt as well. These shirts are amazing. They work. I'm going to link to them down below if you want to check them out. A tight fitting undershirt or compression garment is also the second solution to the second awkward problem, which is man boobs. So when it comes to man boobs, there's two different kinds. There's gynecomastia, which is oftentimes a hormone imbalance. And what happens is a lot of times you're going to develop a little bit more breast tissue behind your nipples. They're going to be a little bit harder, a little puffier. This is a medical condition and can be treated. The other option is what is known as fat titties. The solution, if you have gynecomastia, go to the doctor and talk to them. There are surgeries available to help remove some of the excessive breast tissue behind your nipple and help shape and liposuction in the chest. Now, if you don't want to do that, a wife beater undershirt, right? Super tight, buy it a size smaller. When you put it on, it's going to help compress the breast tissue. And then you dress like normal, it's going to reduce the appearance of the man boobs. Another pro tip is wear dark colors. The lighter colors are going to typically accentuate your breast region. Layering is also another pro tip for you guys out there that want to reduce the appearance of man boobs, right? Whether or not it's a light sweater, a cardigan, or a light jacket. Seriously, what do you think of this fit, right? Not too old. Oh my, oh my god, I, I, I dribbled, that's awkward. Which brings me to the next awkward problem that every single one of you, if you're a dude, if you're a dude, you, this has happened, right? The dribble, what do you do? It's awkward, and it always happens at the worst time, right? So for me, what I've come to realize is if I go commando, it's gonna happen pretty much 100% of the time. Unless, of course, you get done doing your business and before you put the horse back in the stable, you blot it, right? You tap it. Tap it a little bit with a little tissue you got somewhere around you, right? That's a way for you not to actually have a pee stain if you're going commando. Now, if you're wearing underwear, one, two, three, four, possibly five, then anything more than that, you're playing with it, right? And then tap it on your underwear before you get finish doing your business. But what if it already happens and you're like, oh crap, I could. I'd un untuck my shirt, pull up my pants, right? Try and hide it a little bit. Or like, seriously, I might even like pull one of these numbers, right? Take off my shirt if I got a jacket on or something. Boom, right? I'm good to go. Hang on, what's <laughs> it? Sorry, that's, that's awkward, which is actually bringing me to the next thing that we as dudes face, and that is the adjustment. And Pocket in, right? Just little, 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 yep. Ah, right there, you're good, right? Nobody saw anything, all right? That's the Alpha M pro tip to how to adjust in public. Now, let's talk about jock itch, right? You got jock itch, it means you got a fungus among us. One of the problems with our crotch area is that it's dark, it's hot, it's damp, it's moist. And if you're not careful, it can develop a fungus. This fungus is actually going to cause you to itch, right? It's also going to make you stink. Solution, right? A little bit of this. A little bit of that, a little bit of whoop, because that's another problem, that's awkward. Swamp ass all day, your butt cheeks doing like that, right? They're rubbing, it's hot, once again, down your pants. And what's gonna happen, of course, right? You're gonna get a hot, wet, sweaty streak up your crack, unless, of course, once again, you hit it with a little bit of, a little bit of powder. Using a high-quality non-talc-based powder every day is the only way to stay dry 
fresh and friction free. When you're dry, when you're fresh, you're not gonna stink. When you're friction free, you're not gonna be all nasty and uncomfortable. The Pete and Pedro powder, guys, is the best powder on the market, all right? It's non-talc based, which is different than like 99% of other powders on the market. And the reason is because talc is bad for your body. It's also bad for Big Al and the boys. I'm not gonna go into the details, but just, just do a Google search. Talc cancer. Guys, I'm going to link to the Bean Pedro powder down below. Best powder on the market. We got three options. We've got fresh, we've got unscented, and we've got frost, which is our cooling, tingling, oh my god, whoo, that's cold option. Whichever one you pick, guys, you're absolutely going to love it. There's also going to be that limited time discount code. Go and read the reviews. It's not just my opinion that this is better than chassis. Everybody agrees. Bean Pedro powder is the best. The next awkward problem is nasty ass funky feet. Gentlemen, here's the deal. So many of you you neglect your toes. You also neglect your hands in terms of your nails, right? If you got all bitten, crusty, nasty nails, gentlemen, game over, deal breaker. Women don't want somebody that's got nasty nails touching their super sexy, soft body or boobs, right? They just don't. It's a fact. Another fact is that each and every one of you should have a nail grooming kit in his arsenal. I'm going to link to Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to link to this one down below by Pete and Pedro. It's got everything you need to be incredibly well groomed, all right? It's got the nail clippers, it's got nippers, it's got little scissors, it's got tweezers, but then it's got all these additional little tools that are designed to help you, your cuticles, be super sexy. Not only your hands, but also your feet. Another tool that I'm going to link to down below, guys, is this. It's a foot file. Use this in the shower before you actually get out, right? This is a way for you to have smooth, sexy feet. It's got two different sides. One side is going to be a a little bit rougher, start with that, but then the other side, you finish it off. Any area on your feet that's a little bit hard and crusty, you hit it with this. After the shower, your feet are a little bit softer, it's going to be easier to use, and your feet are going to be smooth and sexy and kissably soft. The next awkward problem that a lot of guys face is actually thin hair. Whether or not you've just got fine thin hair or you're actually starting to thin and lose your hair, right? One pro tip I'd like to give you, if you're wanting to stop it, just go to Bosley. There are solutions and products out there. Now, in the meantime, what I'd also like to recommend are a few other products, all right? Using a volumizing shampoo that has biotin and rice protein, it's gonna go in and literally thicken and strengthen the hair shaft. Something else you might wanna check out is a sea salt spray in terms of a pre-styler. This is amazing for adding texture and volume to thin hair. Thick is a hair thickening texture cream, all right? It's got a light hold. It's not gonna be like weighting your hair down. It's light, but it's gonna add volume and texture to thin or fine hair. Guys, if you want a product that's going to give you a little hold, a little thickness, a little texture, but not a lot of like weighted down product feel, you got to check this product out. It's the newest edition of Pete and Pedro, and it's been flying off the shelf. The reviews have been insane. I'm going to link to it down below. Remember, there's also a discount code for everything that I talked about in this video, including Roman swipes. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Roman swipes are a benzocaine like numbing wipe, right? One of the problems that a lot of guys have that is definitely awkward is finishing a little too quick in the bedroom department, right? The way that this works, it's a little discreet swipe. You keep it in your pocket. You'd be like, hey, one sec, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, right? You wipe it on, it dries, and boom, you do your business. These things have been clinically proven and tested to help dudes last a little bit longer in the bedroom department. The next awkward guy problem that you face. <laughs> Do you smell that? Exactly. Actually, my breath is fresh as hell. What about yours? You want to know how to check? Gentlemen, right here. Ready? Ready? Uh, let it dry and smell. How does it smell? That is actually how your breath smells. If you're like, yeah, Alpha, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. How are you going to solve that problem? Gentlemen, of course, oral care game. Every six months, go to the dentist. Floss, brush your teeth twice a day. A little mouthwash to kill the bacteria, the germs. Your mouth, once again, it's kind of like your crotch, right? It's hot, it's dark, it's damp. Bacteria, you gotta make sure you're keeping that bad boy clean. You also need to make sure that bad boy is hydrated. Staying properly hydrated, guys, is one of the easiest things that you can do, not only to look better and feel better, it's also gonna make your breath not stink like ass. Now, if you suffer from regular dry mouth, they also sell mouthwash washes that are designed specifically to help create a layer of moisture in your mouth. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> 
gas. Everybody farts. We all do from time to time. But if you are somebody that suffers from excessive gas, whether or not it's belching or from the other end, guys, it's probably a sign that your gut health is out of whack. I've talked about the product Seed. It's the DS1 Daily Symbiotic. This stuff is amazing. It's like acidophilus, right? A pre and probiotic that actually goes and helps get everything straight in your gut. If you're somebody that suffers from like bloating or gas or just being uncomfortable, you should definitely not only look into your diet, but also your gut health. I'm going to link to this down below if you guys want to go check it out. This stuff is the best on the market, period. Speaking of period, that's one thing that we dudes don't have to suffer with. But unfortunately, there's some other awkward things that we do. Hopefully today, we solve those problems so you can be a sexy stud of stylish stallionness all the time.